We have both uh, known Wendy as a friend and a coworker for for three decades, but yeah. uh, and we haven't been able to see much of her lately because she's yeah. been struggling with uh, with pain management. But you got to see her last weekend. Tell us about that. Yeah, last Sunday afternoon, and um, we keep talking about the cliche lighting up the room, but she still could. She could rule the room, and she was making sure everybody in her bedroom was happy and taken care of. We over barbecue, mm -hmm. bourbon, wine, and a lot of chocolates. And this was at one o'clock in the afternoon. We and talked Nina the hours. cat on the bed. Yeah, yeah, and Nina the cat. And yeah. she was eating whatever she wanted. She was happy as a clam and loving life. You know, we, we've been talking about how large she lived. And it mm -hmm. seemed like, you know, she was on a ride and wanted to do and see as much as she could all her life. But I also got the sense that she was ready to pause and at peace with pausing. Mm -hmm. She was happy and we laughed and told inappropriate stories mm -hmm. that would have gotten us suspended or fired here, but that's what we do, and that's what she well, did. Well, in her we note to it. the newsroom, she, she talked about living large and uh, loud, and exactly. uh, but that a stillness had come over her. Mm -hmm. She had be, uh, was being very introspective at the end. And Doreen, you helped inspire her with health stories about well, her I, challenges. I, I appreciate, I, I would like to, to say that uh, how how much I respected uh, Wendy's bravery in the in the face of some of the medical challenges she had. Uh, uh, it was October, I guess, of 2020. We in, talked to, about her upcoming uh, open heart surgery, and she uh, she she didn't need to to tell anybody about it, but she wanted to share it so other people would not uh, would not overlook their own heart symptoms. And and as she, uh, we also. Uh, you and I both uh, interviewed her at, at times and and uh, talking about her um, her brain cancer that was tough and a really hard diagnosis to uh, to hear and yet she she had the guts to um, to yeah. go on camera and talk about uh, what she was doing she was Wendy our warrior yes she end, was wasn't she she was mm. Well, we thank you for joining us for all of these special moments and memories and, and pictures, and we know all of you have some, and we thank you for yes. sharing on Instagram and Facebook we, and social media. We are reading all of them, and we appreciate the, the love that you're showing us yeah. as we uh, struggle with all of this. We are going to give the last word to Wendy now. After 41 years doing news in this town, 33 of them here at NBC4, I was in radio for almost 10 years prior. I have to thank you for having me and thank you for making life so glorious in this business and especially at this station.